Hello Doraemons, welcome back. So for this video, I am back with the question, most repeated questions of uniques. So let's get through the uniques question, which is getting repeated. And I have segregated them into three modes, which is easy, medium, and tough. So uniques is quite easy to solve because it holds 10 marks and most of them uh, fall into the awk command itself. And I've already done a video, like one code video for bash, which is the uniques question and which is consist of all the important things you need to know about the arc command and everything. And I've also like done two more uh, tutorial videos on arc command and some other videos like grep and WC also. So make sure you check those videos before you check the questions which is getting repeated and i've also solved some of the unique questions already and you can have reference to them too so now just jumping on to the videos um so you have to go to the website and in the description the link to the website will be available in the description of my videos and you can click on those and you have to go to tcs ira questions and go to uniques so in this uniques part, I have added like most of the questions which is asked in the previous IRAs. And for the easiest one, I'm going to go for 21st March. So this is the easiest question which I consider because it is given like uh, some of the numbers, uh, individual numbers separated by commas and you have to find the largest of them. So it is the most easiest uh, question which you can get in a unique. So you have to just remove these commas and compare which is the greatest. And this question I'm already solved. But this is available in the blog post itself. Like it is given already solved it in one of the videos like where i solve how you can solve for tough questions in that part i have solved this question already so you can check that video i'll show that video here so here in this video like i've given how to clear tcs arc ira without like coding in this part i've given like a small glimpse about this question which is asked on 21st march and now moving on i have like one more question which is asked on 3rd january so this chat 3rd january is also like an easiest one uh, this is the common pattern which you get always in an ira question if you are getting like easy questions so it is like printing the total count and they will give you in criteria so here they have given a criteria of quantity should be like greater than 25 and you have to add them add the quantities and put the put the total and this is a very similar one and if it is like nothing is greater than or given quantity they then they have to like no so found with the cost about 300 so here the condition is the cost should be about 300 so if it is 300 then you have to count the quantities and return the total count so yeah so this solution is also here you can click on this link and it will redirect you to the video so you can check out this one and one of the similar pattern is 22nd february which is asked on 22nd february so let's check that question also here is the question so it is asked on 22nd of february and uh, this is also like a total count same kind of thing and uh, here they have like given you to display the number of cars who are belonging to Tata Motors and the type is EV. So this is the right place where you can use the WC commands instead of AUK command. You can just put Tata Motors and EV using the grep commands and then you can just put WC of iPhone hell which will count the number of lines. And it has an exceptional case. So if the output is like very sure then you can use the wc command as here it is given like no record found you have to there is no other chance you have to go with the awk command and i've solved this question too and we here i've explained the grep and wc command as well so make sure you check this one out and now we are moving on to the medium type question so that for the medium time the first 
question I have chosen is of 14th March. So here is the 14th March question. This one. So this is a question is uh, a little tough because you have to change the field separator. It's not as tough as uh, Python or Java. It is really easy but considering the complexity this is the medium one and uh, you have to just find out like you will get the date and you will get two different field separators and you have to change them and you have to get only which is happening on the particular month particular date and based on these values s or no maybe that kind of values will also happen here you have to just print which has yes and for that you can use the grep command again and you have to separate the jan from this date and you have to print it using the colon symbol so it's the same and here also you'll be using the arc command to print this no data found and it is also solved in my video already so make sure you check this and for the next medium question i have chosen 21st february so the 21st february question is a little bit in the pace of so yeah so finding this is hard over here so i'm just moving on to the next one which is 6th of december i have chosen like 6th of december because uh, it is also like very similar 6th of December, 6th of December, help me find it guys. Yeah, here it is there. Okay, so this is the 6th of December. So here, uh, you are asked to find uh, the average. It is based on the average of these two values which is given over here. So whichever average is greater, then you have to fit the average and the type and the path and their numbers and you have to get one for activa and one for like one for honda and one for tvs and here uh, as well as i provided the code i guess so you have you can check this out and you have to print the greatest one among the when you are arranging it in the ascending order or descending order and this is like one of the toughest questions so for the toughest question this is the first question i have chosen which is of 6th december and then the next one which i have chosen is asked on 10th of jan so here i'm going to just find the 10th of jan question oh it's a little bit confusing when you're seeing it here 10th of Jan okay so I think it will be available in the previous page yes so here it is so this question it is like giving a diff adding a field to the existing table so it is a little bit tough and um, in the when you see this question for the first time you will not even get any idea about like what we have to exactly be done so like this question is a little bit tough. You will get uh, only these values as you can see in the input, the course, instructor and price. Whereas you see in the output, they have given course, price and plan. This plan you have to add it and they have given the criteria to add it. Like if the price is zero, then it is a free plan. If the price is less than 500, then it comes under gold. And if it is greater than 500, then it is a premium plan. And you also have to change the field separator and you have to add one more new thing. So if I've also solved this question. Make sure you check this and subscribe to my channel so that you get notified whenever I post a new video and exciting videos like this. And the next question I've chosen for the tough part is on 14th Feb. So here is the question of 14th Feb. So this is like a dictionary kind of thing. So you have to do a dictionary in the unique best language. So it is a new concept for people we don't know about uniques. So I've solved this question. You have to go through this brands and you have to like 
find how many are there in this entire list so there is only one apple one nokia and samsung it is two times repeated and sony is also two times repeated and you have to arrange them in the ascending order and also in the alphabetical order if two numbers are same then they should be arranged in alphabetical order as shown over here so this are the a little bit tough questions when which you don't get any idea once you see the question in the exam especially because in the exam you'll be already stressed and you when you see questions like this it is totally depressing so like if you solve them before the beforehand of the exam and you know about what are the existing thing and how it is getting repeated then it is very easy to solve these type of questions yes so i have given you an idea of how the easy question will be how the medium question will be and what is the toughest level which you can get in an ira unique spot so if you like go through five to six questions of this i am sure like you may create unique part easily in the sbq and you can get 10 marks and it will help you a lot in clearing the ira exam because if you perform well in mcqs and then if you like solve at least unix you have a chance of getting 55 marks at least like if you get 45 it's highly if you just go through the mcqs perfectly go to the repeated ones perfectly then you may get 45 and like 10 marks in unix it is about 55 you may get incentive still so yeah make i think you will be making a good use of it so i'll meet you in the next video until then this is your very own code dore man signing off keep learning and keep rocking i'll meet you in the next one and i'll be back with the java repeated questions bye bye i'll see you in the next one guys